If you are fascinated by electronics like me, I'm sure you have experienced this, like cutting, soldering, marking, wiring, etc. It's a typical approach to start a new project. Just throw your components on the prototype board to start prototyping. Prototype boards are convenient and necessary for new learners like me. However, at a certain point, when your experiment needs more components and your board gets a little complicated, you want to make your board looks more organized and more professional. You might be thinking to turn your prototype board into a clean, shiny, manufactured PCB. You know what? It's not as difficult as you think. Before we start, let me introduce a PCB manufacturer for you. PCB Go Go. PCB Go Go is quick turn PCB prototype manufacturer from China with over 10 years of operation in the industry. They make prototype PCBs as fast as 24 hours. You can upload your Gerber file on PCBGoGo.com to make your own PCB. Their services are reliable and affordable, certified by UL and ISO. This video is sponsored by PCBGoGo. Here are some simple circuits I learned, experimented, and soldered on the prototype board. The number of these is growing fast. Among all these learning and experiments, recently one of the topics I have been trying to understand is op amp. Op amp is an important topic in electronics. Op amp is so important that it deserves dedicated videos for it. So, in this video, I won't go into details about how op amp operates. In this video, I will share my first experience of turning a prototype board into a PCB. This is a microphone tester using an LM358 chip and LM386. Why? Because I have already had a lot of them, and they are standard go-to op amp chips. When you start to learn a new circuit, the quickest way is to find a working one and experiment with it. So I searched the internet for some good examples about LM358, but not all of them are usable for me. So I ended up soldering a pile of garbage. I almost abandoned the idea of learning the op amp until I found this one, which worked fine for me. I will put the link in the description. As the name suggests, it tests microphones of this type. After all the struggle, I finally made a working prototype. Then, what's next? Turn the prototype board into a PCB. To design a PCB, you need an EDA software. In old days, engineers used their hands to draw the traces. But thanks to advanced software engineering, we have better options today. There are many EDA software that can help you to create schematics and convert them into PCB design. Among them, KiCad is good choice. Most importantly, it is free. As a hobbyist, I cannot afford an expensive subscription to professional software. Although I believe the professional one will do a better job. But hey. Nothing is bad. Start with free software, right? KiCad is not bad at all. There are a lot of KiCad tutorials on YouTube. This one from Digikey is pretty good. I will put a link in the description. Welcome to getting started with KiCad. I'm Sean Hemel, and throughout this video series, I'll be is to design your circuit, and this can be based on something you found online, created in a simulator, or constructed on a breadboard. Since PCB Go Go is my sponsor for this video, I will order from PCBGoGo.com this time. I won't go through all the detailed steps, as they are pretty straightforward. After you complete your PCB design, you need to export your Gerbil files and compress them into one zip file. 
After that, you go to PCBGoGo.com to make a PCB fabrication quilt first, where you need to fill up the size of your PCB and how many pieces do you want. There is free trial for new users. I tried this. The PCB cost was zero dollar. After that, add it to your shopping basket. In your shopping basket view, you can find the order you just made. And you can upload your zip file, which contains your Gerbil files. They view review your Gerbil files, it may take a while. After they make sure everything is okay, you are good to place your order. It is that simple. After a couple of days, in my case, five days later, the PCB arrived very fast. They look nice, so let's solder on this brand new PCB board. All parts are soldered. Now let's put the ICs into the sockets. If necessary, adjust the pins to fit into the socket. Now the board is ready. Here we got some EMC mics for testing. Let's connect the speaker and the power. That's weird. It doesn't work. Let's check the schematic diagram again. Well, it's all my fault. As you can see here, I need a wire to connect to the plus voltage, but I failed to connect it in my schematic diagram. Fortunately, it's not a difficult error to fix. Just one wire, like this, solves the problem.
Let's try again. This time we will hear the howling, which is expected behavior. Be sure to turn down your volume a little bit. Now it works. I am so happy that for the first time, I turned one of my prototype board into a nice PCB. It's not as difficult as I thought, and you should do it too. This time, I ordered from PCBGoGo.com. The quality of the PCB is good, and the delivery is fast. If you need to make your own PCB, then PCBGoGo will be a great option. I drew my schematic diagram and designed the PCB in KiCad, and I enjoyed it. By going through this whole process, now I am more confident that I can challenge some more complicated circuits. I have many ideas for my future projects. Actually, I have started designing my next PCB. I am planning to share my experience and what I learned in my future videos. So if you enjoy the videos like this and learn something, please subscribe, like, and share. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I guess that's all we have today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.